Today we're in the Catalina foothills, just north of Tucson, Arizona at about 3,000 feet. We're going to be looking at the cactus wren, which is Arizona's state bird. There's a nest in the Choya cactus just above me, and also there's a cactus wren on the cactus right there. So let's take a look at the cactus wren. Cactus wrens measure about eight and a half inches from head to tail. And you can't tell the difference between the male and the female by appearance. They both look alike. They don't migrate, so we're lucky to have them with us all year round. You'll have no difficulty finding cactus wrens in Arizona, except in the far north east of the state, where there are no choya cactus for it to build its nests. Just listen for that sound, that sound which sounds like somebody's trying to start their car engine. Then look around and you're sure to see the cactus wren. Cactus wrens build their nests in desert vegetation like this choir here and they make sure that the nest is surrounded by sharp prickly thorns to discourage predators. Also when the nests are finished it'll have a narrow entrance and then widen out to a chamber inside which is all nicely feather lined. Most birds they only build nests in the breeding season to lay eggs and to raise their young. But the cactus wren, they build multiple nests and they use them as, uh, for roosting during the non-breeding season like now. So they, they use their nests to, to sleep in, in other words. On the top right there, you can see the original nest, the larger nest that the male was building. And then on the left, you can see the smaller nest, which is being built right now by, I think, the female. So you can see here, not only do they build multiple nests in different cacti, they build multiple nests in the same cactus. The cactus wren is not a typical wren, it's much larger, in fact it's the largest wren in the United States. It's not timid like most wrens, it's, it's very noisy and gregarious and it doesn't hold its tail upright behind it like most wrens do. You'll often find cactus wrens on the ground foraging around lifting leaves and pebbles looking for insects to eat. Besides the insects they eat berries and seeds and sometimes come to garden feeders eating the seeds and the suet from there. If you've watched any of the previous videos in the Arizona Birds channel, you'll know that I'm planning on publishing a large format coffee table book featuring the birds of Arizona. The book will be quite large, about 9 inches by 12 inches, which will give room to show the photographs of a decent size.
and currently working on the design of the inside pages. This design concept shows a double page spread for the cactus wren. Nothing's been written yet, so I have a placeholder text on this spread. Not all the birds will have double page spreads, so I've also been trying out how the single pages would look with the canyon wren here and the rock wren. I'll be posting a spread for new birds every week, so please subscribe to the channel to follow the progress of the book as we work our way through design, writing and production. See you next time.